Hello, my name is Jason Hooper, and I'm the orchestra teacher here at College Station High School. Back to school is a very busy time, and things can slip through the cracks, so I thought I would just send out this video to you early so that you're not getting everything at the same time and you can have time to process, plan, and build a strategy. The first thing I wanna go over is how to get plugged in, how to get the updates, the reminders, how to be in the know. For the students, the slides are shown every day in class on our two gigantic TV screens that the district put in. But for parents, you can access the most update information online on Google Slides at short URL at forward slash JLQR4. Schoology is a thing. We have our own custom Schoology group, but you need a code to join. I would pause this video right now and visit the link in the video description and sign up for the Schoology group right now. Seriously, pause it, I'll give you some time. Schoology is not just for the students, parents can also join. It's got updates, it's got a materials section, so if you lose your music or your handbook, you can get it there. We also have a remind, and to get real-time alerts and notifications, you can sign up at CSHS Orch TX. We use a piece of software called Charms, and the students who don't already have Charms accounts will get them set up on the 19th at our camp. We have a group me, and we set those up by instrument section, and we'll set those up on the 19th as well. We have an Instagram, we have a Twitter, and we have this lovely YouTube channel, so make sure and like and subscribe. Okay, so we've got Google Slides, we've got The Remind, we've got Charms, we've got GroupMe, we've got Instagram, we've got Twitter, we've got a YouTube channel. The expectation is that for students and parents and the College Station High School Orchestra program that you stay connected through these modalities, specifically through the Google Slide and through Charms. We work hard to maintain them and update them and you're expected to use them. If you don't like it, feel free to find another activity and I'm sorry to be blunt about this, but I've got a family and I need to spend time with them on occasion and I'm not your personal secretary. All right, got it? On the first day of school, the students are gonna be getting handbooks. And the very first thing they're gonna see in this handbook is uh, the cover sheet. And then on the very next page, you're gonna see this page that says, they connected and it's gonna have all these modalities of communication that I just mentioned. So take a picture of it with your phone if you want to. You put it on your refrigerator, but don't lose it because this is important. It also mentions Schoology here at the bottom and it's got our Schoology code just in case you lose it. It also mentions not to DM me on Schoology. And if you DM me on Schoology, you've made possibly two mistakes. The first mistake is that you're messaging me on Schoology and as it says here, I will take five points off your grade. And the second mistake is that you probably didn't check the slides or the update section on Schoology or the group me or blah, 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 right? So don't send me Schoology messages because I may not see them. I don't visit Schoology every day and I might not see them for a week or two when I post an update. So it's bad communication. Don't DM me on Schoology. Next is the calendar. This is also very important, which is why it's here on page three. After the contact sheet and the cover sheet, is the calendar sheet. It's got all of our events right here. You'll notice some of these events are bold. That means everybody does them, and the ones that are not emboldened are things that just some of the orchestra students do. So if you take a look here on September 23rd, we have our all region JV varsity auditions and the CSHS Commons from eight to four. Not every student is gonna participate in that, but every student will participate in the fall concert in the auditorium, which is why this is emboldened. You'll also note that our very first performance is on August 19th. Yes, August 19th. That's our first concert and overture camp. And our last event is graduation on May 23rd in Reed Arena. Please, please, please put these dates into your calendar. Stay organized. There's a lot of stuff going on, not just in orchestra, but it's a comprehensive high school, right? So keep organized. A, a lot of freshmen fall into this trap of not going to graduation, and that can be a not so great start to your high school transcript because it's a graded performance, and if you miss this event, you just torpedoed your GPA. So 
So parents, please do not schedule your family vacations in conflict with graduation. I'm not going to excuse them. I'm a parent too, and I, you know, I look at the school calendar and I think, hey, what is school out? Oh, the 23rd, great. Let's book our flights. What time does school let out? Oh, 1030, let's book the 1031 flight out of IH and get as far away from here as possible. I get it, but you're gonna have to wait until the 24th because you gotta play graduation, it's part of the grade. And I'm, I'm sorry, there are conflicts that come up and I get it, but not all conflicts are equal, right? A medical emergency is not really the same as your puppy's birthday, right? Here are a list of excuses that I've had to endure in my 20 years of teaching. I was out of cat food and we had to go to the store. I thought it was a snow day. My uniform was dirty, so I had to dry clean it. I thought my goldfish died, and whilst planning the funeral, she was actually fine. I was in line to get the new iPhone. All of these students fail. Please don't be a part of this list. Please be responsible. Keep your calendar, and if you've got a conflict, a legitimate conflict, notify me now and we can work to solve it. The sooner you let me know, the more forgiving I'm going to be. Speaking of concerts, on concert days and even before the concert day, like the day before the concert, it's a busy time for orchestra teachers like myself. So please do your best to solve your own problems the day of the concert because I might be doing something silly like setting up microphones so we can get a good recording. And I might not have time uh, to look for your bow tie. So please take care of your own business. And if you've got a uniform issue or something like that, don't wait until the last minute because other groups use the auditorium, so I can't have everything set up a week in advance, but you can take care of your uniform a week in advance, so please be respectful. The next page of our handbook are our expectations. I feel like I already communicated my expectations already, so maybe I'll get Christine in here to go over this. Welcome back everyone, and welcome incoming freshmen! My name is Christine Kim, and I am the president of the CSHS Orchestra Student Leadership. So, what is student leadership? Student leadership is an organization in the CSHS Orchestra that usually discusses orchestra events such as concerts, lock-ins, fundraisers, and trips. It is a great opportunity for you guys to be involved in orchestra. The meetings are held every Friday at 4.30 p.m. in the orchestra hall, and everyone is welcome. If you have any questions or concerns about student leadership, please feel free to contact me or the officers. Last year, we accomplished amazing things. We opened for the world famous violinist Midori and had an opportunity to represent our Cougar Pride by performing at Carnegie Hall. This year, we are going to set our new goals. To achieve our goals, we need to make sure that we hold each other accountable. The first thing we must address is our second home, the orchestra hall. Sometimes when I spot trash rolling around on the floor, I wonder, um, is this a room where a Carnegie Hall level orchestra rehearses? Let's show some respect for our orchestra by keeping our orchestra hall clean and not taking any food or drinks into the orchestra hall. Second, we need to make our best effort to be on time. When you're late, you're not respecting other people's time, so make your best effort to be on time to show respect to our orchestra. Third, when we come to class, make sure that we are all focused on what we are doing and put away any distractions. Orchestra class is not a study hall, a place to talk with your friends on your phone, or a time to earn words of wisdom from books. Our class is only 50 minutes or 40 minutes on Win Wednesdays, so please put in your best effort. Fourth, finally, and most significantly, we are responsible for preparing our materials in class. You need to have a pencil to write things in your music, your music binder, your rosin, and a cleaning cloth every day. So these are the goals we are aiming for this year. Not too difficult, right? I am sure that you guys are all responsible and respectful enough to follow these basic rules. This year will be amazing, and I hope you guys have a great day. Oh, and also, do not forget to practice. Awesome job, Christine. It's important that we understand that we are part of a broader community here at College Station High School. And beyond these expectations for our orchestra, we need to set the example in our school. I'm a little rusty on the Cougar qualities, so maybe I can get Mr. Grimes in here to talk about the Cougar qualities. 
Howdy orchestra parents and students, Mr. Grimes here, and I'm looking forward to another fantastic season. I know y'all are going to do great things. At College Station High School, we have had a lot of success, and we owe a lot of that success to our values. We have our Cougar qualities posted in just about every room in the school, and we ask our students to model them every day. In activities like orchestra, y'all are going to travel quite a bit, maybe even across the country one day. And the expectation is to model our Cougar qualities on campus and off. Best of luck this year. I know y'all are gonna do great and represent what it means to be a Cougar at College Station High School, wherever you go. Go Cougars. On the next page of the handbook is a link to the online forms. There are two online forms this year and you will access them here through this link. This year, we need to do the district travel form and the online forms. I know this is redundant, but it just needs to be done twice. It's just how it is. Once online and once through the form in this handbook. By the way, the forms in this handbook are due on the 19th at our camp, so please take them with you to our camp on the 19th of August. The next page is my grading policy. So this page shows exactly how I grade by percentage for every component. And on the next page, we have a rubric that shows you how grades are taken for the charms assessments, which are 75% of your grade. Yes, music is a subjective art, but students are graded on the objective components and those are quantified here in the rubric. The next couple of pages are on instrument care. Christine mentioned some of the prestigious things that we've gotten to do last year and keeping your instrument maintained is part of our journey to success. Just checking your bridge and your seams every day can not only make your instrument sound better, but can also save you from hundreds, maybe even a thousand dollars worth of repairs. So even if you just do those two things, maybe change your strings and your bow hair once a year and we'll be in good shape. Now we get to the forms. These are the district travel forms that I mentioned. Everybody in orchestra has to fill out these forms. And you may think, well, I'm in band. I've already filled out these forms already, so I'm good, right? Wrong. Unfortunately, you have to do this again for every organization you're in that travels. And I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about that and there's nothing any of the other sponsors can do either. So next we have the handbook agreement form. And this says that you agree to the policies and guidelines in the handbook and that Christine and Mr. Grimes and I have gone over in this video. Orchestra is an optional activity and it's a privilege to be an orchestra. And if you think that these policies are unreasonable, then you can go get a schedule change, all right? No big deal, no hard feelings. If you wanna be here, great, we'll teach you and we'll invite you to become part of our success, but you have to meet us halfway. So finally, we have a membership form for parents who also want to be a part of our success and take your participation in our program to the next level. A lot of parents are appreciative of what we do here and they want to give back by helping with fundraising, uniforms, chaperoning, awards, scholarships, helping with our audits, and we have a lot of contests here at uh, College Station High School. If you go back to the schedule, almost every competition is hosted here at CSHS, you know, home field advantage or whatever. Not having to wake up at 4 a.m. to drive to Midway is pretty nice. So consider helping out with this so that we can keep all of our contests here at College Station High School. On the 19th of August at the Overture Camp, Encore is gonna kick off our first fundraiser of the year, which is done through Fun Team. We're gonna dedicate a little bit of time for our students to go to the library, and not all at once, just a group at a time, and you're gonna enter 20 email addresses and a photo of yourself to the Fun Team group between now and then. Please think of the 20 people that you know, not businesses, but actual people that you have email addresses for and that they know you and it's okay to send them this stuff. They don't have to donate, okay? They can just get the updates and be reminded that we've got an orchestra program here, but make sure you know them. Otherwise, you know, spamming strangers, that's not cool, right? All right, the handbook agreement form and the travel contract are due on the 19th. So make sure you take them to the camp. I'll remind the students in class as well. 
We need to have these turned in on that Saturday morning. If they forget, parents are gonna get a phone call, so make sure you remember your forms. All right, everybody, this is gonna be a great year in orchestra, and we're working really hard to set everything up and get everything ready for the first day of school. So we've got a concert on the 19th of August, and I'll see you all there.